Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 8th, 2024. Well, I hope everyone had a restful weekend and ready for another wild week. We're going to start off this week pretty slow, but then we're going to ramp up into some big data points and big bank earnings reports that will kick off our second quarter earnings season. What happened overnight? Well, first off, if we take a look at Asian markets, Asian markets were mostly higher last night with only Shanghai showing just a slight decline overnight. The Nikkei was up the strongest, up 0.91%. If we take a look at European markets this morning, they are green across the board. In fact, quite bullish across the board this morning. Um, so, so showing lots of bullishness over there across the pond. Here in the U.S., well, not so much. Um, we are just kind of uh, slightly bearish and a little bit flat this morning on U.S. futures as we kick off our Monday. Um, part of the reason for that is we are seeing bond yields surging. Uh, bonds, the bond route is continuing and those yields are surging. The two-year bond is at 4.78 right now um, at um, 5.48 a.m. Central Time. And the 10-year is at 4.44 this morning, 30-year being up at 4.59 this morning. So putting significant pressure on those bonds today. If we take a look at oil this morning, oil is just ever so slightly lower. We had um, just tremendous um, rally in oil last week, but easing up just a little bit. Um, apparently, they the market is seeing some tensions easing in the Middle East, but I got to tell you that would be so minor at this point. I wouldn't take, um, I wouldn't get too carried away with that. Um, so we have oil down just a little bit at 68 cents at 86.24 a barrel. Brent is down 71 cents at 90.46 a barrel, and natural gas is a little bit lower, not quite a penny. And then if we take a look at our uh, precious metals, well, they're still going up. We've got gold up this morning, $16.10 an ounce, um, continuing to stretch higher at $2,361 an ounce. We've got silver up this morning, copper, platinum, and palladium all reaching higher this morning as those bond yields continue to fall. And we've got uh, cryptos are really strong this morning with Bitcoin now surging more than 3,000 points a coin. Really stronger here as we continue to see these fluctuations in currency with bond yields rising. And there's also some concern out there that there's gonna be some um, intervention in the currency from um, Japan to try and support the yuan or excuse me the yen so watch that closely and there's even rumors out there that china may be doing some things to hedge their currency as well so watch for some currency fluctuations this week so what does all that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the monday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Remember, we want to shake off a little bit of bias. We want to look at these charts for what they are, not for what, they, what we want them to be, and see if we can figure out how we might um, approach the market for today without um, undue risk. Well... If we take a look at the diamonds, you can see, looking at this chart, we did make a lower high last week with this big old ugly bearish candle here, and we made a nice little rally 
on Friday trying to push back up. But unfortunately, that doesn't resolve anything in this little pattern just yet. We've got a lot more work to do if, if the bulls are going to recover this market. So first off, if the bulls can find inspiration to push us a little bit higher today, first off, I wanna make note of this resistance area right here through that chart. As you can see, um, any rally back up into that resistance would also contact this little downtrend right in here. So we'll want to be watching this area very, very closely. If the bulls can push through that and we start breaking through this resistance area, well, things will ease up just a little bit, getting up through this area in the chart. Then we'll have to push up and test that gap right in there to see if we can break through there if the bulls can get enough inspiration if the bears however were to find some inspiration here today and there there probably is a really good opportunity for some uncertainty the next couple of days and we'll talk about that in a second but if the bears were to come in and push back down We'll of course want to be watching. There's a little bit of price support right in here in the end, uh, the bottom side of our candle there on Friday. Pushing back down in there would probably raise some concern in the market and we run that risk that we would drop through this area of support in the chart. So we'll want to be watching that carefully. Now, with that possibility of a little of uncertainty here this week and a little bit of choppiness don't be too surprised if we continue to see this possible not really pushing up not really pushing down but consolidating range here as we wait on data and the beginning of um, earning season so just watch for that possibility as well if we take a look at our spy SPY obviously that big black candle raised a lot of concern in the market and this rally back up to this resistance is going to be extremely important if the bulls can push back through there remember we've got this trend right here we need to also deal with that but if we push back through there get back through that resistance and can hold up here support well there may not be any problem at all if they can do that if they can push back up we could see a hold up here and then that push on higher to break new highs there certainly is data and um, um, earnings um, here at the end of the week that could help provide that um, inspiration to move up there. We also have that possibility if the bears were to find inspiration that push back down. Now I want you to notice there's a little tiny bit of price support right in there we'd have to hold on to and if we start to slip below there well I think there is then that chance we could retest that Friday low in the chart breaking down through there then we're looking at the thursday low and beyond that point it gets kind of ugly we could fall relatively hard down below that area of the chart if the bears were to be inspired i think there is a still again i'm going to repeat this a pretty good possibility that we could be range bound for a couple of days waiting on data um, and the beginning of earnings so sideways move would not be out of the question choppy choppy sideways move if we take a look at a qqq well our qqq probably one of the most um, uh, the bigger indexes that are a concern and when i say bigger index it's not the biggest uh, uh, by volume of, of stocks but biggest by um, interest in the market because of big tech um, obviously we're slipping here just a little bit and there is that bit of a concern that um, tech might be losing some of its shine here um, in just a well we'll see if they can continue to push now if the bulls can find inspiration here and push this on higher right up in here we're going to run into a fairly interesting resistance we've got this downtrend in here we've got this substantial yeah. resistance level in here we've also got this trend that we broke here in the chart so somewhere right up in here 
we could kind of run into that little bit of a triple whammy of resistance in the chart. So we'll want to watch that carefully if those bulls can push on up here into that zone of resistance in the chart. Watch for that potential reversal up there. If we can push through and prove to hold up here, then blue sky highs look like a, a very high probability if they can get that done. If on the other hand, they are unable to get that done, if the bears were to uh, push, well, you can see we've got a little bit of price support right there in those candles. Then of course, right down here, the low of Friday, and then the low of Thursday. And you'll notice right across here, we actually have a pretty decent level of price support right through here in that chart. So we could hold in there pretty easily. If we were to drop below there, you can see the next price support would be a little bit of a painful decline here in the market. If the um, bulls and bears are pretty equal here for the next couple of days as we wait on data. Um, and we, we're just range bound. Look for a little bit of sideways move in here also as a possibility. Our um, IWM. IWM also running into a little bit of trouble here. Notice we've got a little down move in here in that chart. But we're still holding above this uh, pretty important area of price support in um, IWM. So not completely out of the woods here. It is a concern, but if those bulls can push right back and push back up through that downtrend, remember we're gonna have to break some of these resistance levels in the chart that may be a little bit challenging over the next couple of days because I'm not sure we're gonna find that great inspiration here in the market to get super, super bullish. But watch that carefully if we can push back through there and then we're up here retesting this really big resistance in the chart. Remember we have tried a couple of times to break back up through there and have been rejected, at least at the moment. If the bears were to find inspiration pushing on down, well, a little, some price support in here is where I'd look first to see if we can catch that area of the chart for some support. And I'm afraid if that area fails, you can see there's a little teeny tiny just below that, um, kind of an aid to this current support here in the chart. If we were to drop down through there, then I think we're testing this bigger area of price support here in the chart. And beyond that point, we're looking lower down in this area of the chart. So keep an eye on that. Our VIX certainly has been on the, on the run to the upside. And we'll wanna be keeping an eye on this because our VIX, remember anytime our VIX goes up, if you're an options trader at all, all of your premiums go higher. Um, it doesn't matter if it's calls or puts, all of your premiums go higher as fear um, really starts to affect those premiums. So you'll wanna keep that in mind. Now, as we push back up here in this chart, you can notice that we broke through a fairly significant area of resistance here in the chart. And right now, we're holding it as support. So if that were to hold in this area and we see more bearishness coming into the market, more fear popping up in here, that's, boy, I gotta tell you, we could really see some fear creep up here um, just based on these currency moves and the, and the bonds, the way um, rates are running back up. But you will want to notice this bigger downtrend here in the chart and that possibility that even if we did rally, we could run into that downtrend resistance here in the chart and find a little bit of bullishness to push us back and maybe we come on back down and we test some areas in here, potentially put in some kind of a higher low or something. Um, I wouldn't be too surprised to see some resting here, at least for the next couple of days as we wait for data. Let's take a look at our um, T20s. Now our T2122, ended the day on Friday 
right back up here in the middle of the zone. So here we are right back up here, um, kind of straddling the fence again with uh, bonds really surging this morning. That could be a problematic thing. But if those bulls can find inspiration, notice we've got good upside opportunity if those bulls can really get cranking today. If the bears, however, get cranking today, we have about an equal opportunity to the downside so just kind of straddling the fence and I do think uh, once again with the uncertainty that we're seeing here in the market and the build-up toward some data that we've got coming today or excuse me this week and then um, uncertainty about the big bank earnings reports coming up at the end of the week well we'll want to be watching for that possibility that we just become a little bit choppy and range bound for a couple of days if we take a look at our t2108 uh, t2108 also faded back here in the chart and then right at the end of the day we we really started to turn this up just a little bit on the percentage of stocks above the 40 day one of the things we'll want to be paying attention to is we did break this trend to the upside and notice we've broken a little bit of price support areas here in the chart but i don't think anything in here gets ugly um, unless we break below about 50 percent of those stocks holding above their 40 day we start getting below that and there's going to be a little bit of concern maybe coming up in the market um, we do have some support levels in here that could hold us just below that area down here around 45 46 percent so watch carefully here if those bears were to push back if the bulls can find that inspiration and push back up and maybe retest that downtrend resistance and some of these resistance areas in the chart certainly does seem possible as well, including a bit of a range bound chop. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107 pulled back just a little bit and kind of finished the day flat. As you can see, we broke a little bit of a trend right there, but not so much to be a concern. We've got some support in here on that so t2107 still holding in there stronger than the other indicators we do want to keep in mind that we're up here in this very frothy area of the chart and if we were to fall a little bit more we've got some good price support so i'm not too particularly worried about t2107 and again with that idea that we could chop for a couple of days yeah no no harm no foul here um, if we look at our T2101, this is a little bit of a concern. T2101 saw a little bit of a bump back up in breadth on Friday as the big bulls tried to hold on and rally but i gotta tell you that our breath is so low and i suspect it's gonna stay low because of the corporate buyback blackout and virtually all companies now are in the blackout period as we roll in to the next earnings uh, round of earnings here for the second quarter so it there's going to be a little bit of a quiet period here for them we'll want to be watching this closely um to see whether or not we can start pushing higher here in the chart if we can start um, seeing that breadth improving um, i would be surprised if it gets really really strong here however as we wait for those reports in fact kind of lends us to that choppiness here in the market so we'll want to be kind of careful there if we take a look um, at our um, economic calendar here for this week well you can see what I've been talking about first off we're gonna start the week with just a dead boring uh, not much here for inspiration we've got cash car speaking some bond auctions here today to be thinking about as you can see on Tuesday, we got the NFIB Small Business Optimism um, Index Report, and then we've got some bond an um, announcements and a three-year note auction. And so dead solid boring here for the first couple of days this week. But as we're thinking about, as we're getting through this boring period of the week, everyone's gonna be thinking about this. 
got a CPI report coming in there on Tuesday, or excuse me, on Wednesday morning before the bell. And of course, that's been a concern for us here. It's one of the reasons we're seeing bond yields go up the way they are. So keep an eye on that as we head into Wednesday. If we see these numbers increasing, that could be really problematic for the market. We need to see these numbers easing on CPI. Uh, we don't need to see those consumer prices continuing up. So watch that carefully. We've also got uh, petroleum status and FOMC minutes that will be coming out on Wednesday. So, you know, just a busy, um, busy day to day on Wednesday. As we roll into Thursday, keeping in mind jobless claims and PPI, our jobs continue to remain hot. That's been a problem for us. That's helping to support those bond yields. And as we see, um, also the producer prices could be a big deal, particularly with oil moving up the way it has. That's increasing those producer costs um, to get those products out to us that we all desire. So watch carefully there on Thursday. And then, of course, rolling into Friday, import export prices and consumer sentiment. But probably more notable on Friday than those is going to be the beginning of of big bank earnings reports. On Friday morning, we are gonna hear from BlackRock. We're gonna get reports from Citibank. We're gonna get reports from JP Morgan. We've got PGR, Progressive will be in there. Uh, we've got State Street that we'll be reporting and we have WFC as the major notables there for Friday. So be prepared um, as we run into these big, big bank reports, there's a good chance of significant price volatility. And along with those PPI and CPI numbers, we've got a potential for a wild um, end to our week. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at um, our um, earnings calendar here for today. And unfortunately, guys, there is just nothing. There, There's um, not a single confirmed earnings report for today. So um, no notables for uh, today to provide inspiration to either the bulls or the bears. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, however. But before we do that, if you guys could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, then if you could do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow i just want to say thank you so much for those who take the time to do that and also thank you for everyone who shares these videos out there on their social media feed shares that link thank you and just a huge shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link that's just below the title of the video you guys are awesome i truly truly appreciate it let's take a look at some of these stocks and remember these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security do your own due diligence make sure you're following your uh, trading plan your guidance for risk tolerance and never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas first off let's take a, a couple looks at um, kind of an ag related um, area here in the market mosaic now mosaic has got a lot of work to do this thing has been hated for a long time still in a major downtrend but what we're seeing here in mosaic is that push back up here trying to come back around notice it's up to through its 50-day moving average in a pattern that we like to call the rounded bottom breakout. Um, let's keep an eye on Mosaic. We've been seeing um, kind of defensive or, and, and this really isn't defensive, but we've been seeing a lot of that um, running to a little bit of safety and security, food, um, consumer staples, things like that. Utilities have been holding up really well. Things that are paying dividends um, doing pretty well in this 
rotation that we've been experiencing here in the market. Now, that certainly could end very quickly once we get into the meat of earnings, but right now there's just this little sense of running to safety. So keep an eye on Mosaic trying to come up in here. Um, it's got some resistance here in the chart up above, but I think it's worth keeping an eye on. And, and you did see that I had placed a price alert on here that popped on through with that little higher low on Mosaic. You can also see the same kind of things. We've got CF Industries, another ag play. Now this is pushing a major resistance area in the chart. And if it could pop up through there, may be of interest here. So keep an eye on that big resistance area. And if we look at stocks like, um, whoops, can't type, um, um, Archer Daniels, Archer Daniels in that very bullish consolidation pattern right in here and that possibility that this could get that energy and break on through and fill this gap. So watch carefully on Archer Daniels. We might also want to be keeping an eye on um, things in the commodity uh, sector area individually. Take a look at um, soybeans here. Soybeans holding in this nice little resting pattern, consolidation above support, just looking for that little inspiration. Or maybe it's just going to be some currency manipulations that can get this going. And we talked about that there may be a chance of both Japan and China doing some currency manipulation. So watch that carefully here. Things like soybeans, um, corn um, setting up in patterns, um, wheat, keep an eye on those, uh, cane for sugar. So keep an eye on some of those commodity food prices um, in there. Those inputs could be very, very important. Let's take a look at a few of the pay systems um, out there. Um, American Express looked like there was going to have that opportunity to break on through. You can see I placed an alert there. It had dropped really hard last Thursday. It's trying to hold in now um, in this range bound area. I think this could go either direction. Really probably is going to depend on how well the big banks do on Friday, but watch that carefully. This has that opportunity, it could break higher. But if it breaks lower here, oof, watch out below if that were to fall through that um, area of support. I'm going to say uh, Visa has already made that decision here, breaking through that support here and trying to rally back. I would be watching Visa for that possibility that it, we could lose this area of support and continue to move on down. Perhaps if the big banks reports are strong enough, we can push back up. I would still want to see that hold a higher low and resume an uptrend before I get too excited about that one to the upside. So watch those closely. If we take a look at stocks like SQ, SQ, a lot of volatility in this, um, dropped hard breaking support and then came up strongly on Friday. And you can see we're getting kind of a wild pre-market action in here on SQ. I think that might be worth watching as well as in some of those pay systems. And then um, if we take a look at uh, PayPal, PayPal um, resting up here in this pattern um, after breaking that downtrend. This is one of the strongest right now, showing that bullish breakout of that major downtrend, trying to hold that higher low. I would keep an eye on PayPal for that opportunity that may push on through to the upside. Now, um, I've got to talk about energy here. Energy has just been zooming to the upside and we're pushing up here Notice we've got this major breakout in oil and we could push even higher still to this high peak up here um, all the way back to 2014. Um, so watch that carefully if we got um, um, some more bullish energy. But I would start watching this for that possibility of a pullback. I really do think that we have stretched some of these way too far. So maybe some bear call credit spreads or something like that might be, um, I'd look around in that oil industry to see if there was some trade setting up for those kind of things, just to maybe hedge for that possibility 
of a pullback here in energy. Um, and nothing wrong with pulling back in here. It doesn't make it bearish if we just pull back into this area of support in XLE and then look for that next opportunity up. It just that when we go so parabolic, we need a rest um, in the market. And I'm gonna say the same thing, and I know no one wants to hear this. If you are um, in gold and I am in gold, holding physical gold and as you can see um, it's really strong in this move to the upside but once again as we continue to stretch and stretch and go more and more parabolic there's obviously some kind of fear creeping up in the market to send us to new highs like this in gold and then just continuing to stretch out but I do think there is an increasing probability of a rest or pullback. If you're in this, you might want to think about some ways of hedging um, this for that potential pullback. And um, it is possible if it starts to sell, it could sell off really quickly. So be careful here in gold. Um, silver made this nice breakthrough, a major resistance area. The chart continues to run parabolic to the upside and we're coming into more resistance here in the chart would not be out of the question to also see this pullback here soon here we are gapping to a new high um, here recent high not a new market high but a new um, recent high gapping up showing strength this morning so i know it's probably not um, uh, you know something anybody wants to hear where i'm suggesting a pullback could be ready to occur in here at any time maybe looking at some credit spreads or something like that to hedge for that possibility in silver could be something to be thinking about um, then if we take a look at our miners I'm going to say the same thing. Um, GDX, extremely strong, absolutely parabolic here in the chart. We're pushing up into some additional resistance areas in here on those miners. Take one these individually or as a group like this, there may be a reason for a little rest or pullback in here, but um, don't, don't anticipate it. Wait to see wait to see those bears show themselves because you can see we're still trying to gap higher here in these moves take a look at some of the other um commodity areas out there in the market take a look at fcx and copper extremely strong again probably getting a little bit parabolic coming into a big area of resistance up here watch that carefully if it starts to rest or pull back take a look at um, things in steel steel dynamics still looking very good here uh, nice little resting consolidation coming into that rest back to this trend i would look for that next opportunity here in steel dynamics um, every reason to believe that that can continue to push higher the way this chart is looking uh, take a look at um, cleveland cliffs also in that nice little resting consolidation up here look for that bullish opportunity somewhere between here and anyway all the way out to the trend that we could find those bulls and start pushing on higher gonna have to continue to mention um, these things in uh, cannabis my goodness um, these things have been really really strong here recently pushing up we did have a pretty ugly day last Thursday Friday popping back up in here and MSOS on this um, cannabis ETF watch that for that possible push out but if you look at the little guys here CGC man big big rally Look for a little rest or consolidation in here to continue. Look for those next opportunities. And TLRY is one that we'll be reporting this week. You can see that's gonna re report tomorrow. That could certainly help provide some inspiration um, either up or down, depending on how Telray reports after breaking through this big resistance in the chart i'd keep uh, a close eye on that so there's a few other things i wanted to cover but i'm running out of time here i don't want to make this video too long y'all take care be safe have a wonderful day i will see you right back here bright and early tuesday morning and as always i wish you all the very very best